the new pro. How you doing? I'm doing well. How are you doing, Matt Ogus? I'm doing pretty cool. Good to hear it. What's new, dude? Well, we're just watching uh, Jeff and Paul Alberts, the dynamic duo, compete. Haven't been on stage together for a long time. Uh, Jeff just won the master's class. NPC Modesto. Paul took a, a third place. Personally, I would have had him second. Leanest guy in the show by far. <laughs> yeah. Both of them have nasty closing routines. Um, there's some big boys in the show. Yeah. This is not a drug test show, is it? I don't believe it is. Doesn't look like it. <laughs> I don't think so. So that's pretty cool. So Jeff's getting back on stage for the first time in two years, and he looks like he was on the stage last night. It looks good. So poised. So. I couldn't sleep last night just watching him compete. I mean, think about him competing. Like, it's like a little kid on Christmas. <laughs> I like that cake video you were in. Oh, that was... That was dope. Put the cake over here, you know? What's, what's your nickname? If Jeff's the, the, mom, uh, the godfather, what are you? He's the godfather on the cup. <laughs> what is, I don't know what that means. Me neither. But I rub people up. We take care of problems over here, you know? We eat some cake and then... Uh, <laughs> Rope people out. <laughs> so guys, this is my coach, and uh, he's gonna make me stop eating so much. Apparently, I've gained too much, too fast. I screwed up the. I totally screwed up my reverse diet. I'll admit it. I kind of did. So who tastes good after you diet that many pounds off, doesn't it? It does taste <laughs> so good. It'll do good. Even the diet food. I've just been eating the diet food. A lot of it, though, right? Yeah, a lot, I guess. Yeah. You haven't gone out to any restaurants, of course. Uh, no, not, uh, what is it, SoCal? Well, just, 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 uh, you know, <laughs> what just is Cold Stone, that doesn't count, <laughs> Cold right? Stone. I love how you just, Cold Stone apparently doesn't count. It's, it, that, that's fake food. He's just kind of not counting the fact that he's binged on Cold Stone a couple times. Oh, it was only twice, but I had it, yeah, I had like... Only twice, each time 10,000 calories, actually, I ate, fat. I actually ate cake until I couldn't eat anymore, so... Yeah, that, that, that probably will do it. things to you, doesn't it? Yeah, I seriously woke up the next morning and I felt like there was a layer of fat on me, but... There, there, there was. I don't know. I really don't know. <laughs> yeah, the body has an unlimited capacity to store fat. That's why so, you... So, like, but also, because I added that fat, it's... it's the reason why uh, reverse dining is so important is because, like... Because when you add that fat, it's not like you could just get rid of it. Because your, your goal is to gain the muscle. So, kind of gain muscle. So the, 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 the main thing here is, is with the reverse diet is that after you diet down to very low levels, your metabolism slows down. Your hunger levels increase. So there's this critical phase where you want to put on weight slowly to let your metabolism rehab. Because with a slow metabolism, you gain weight easier, right? Very true. I, I, very true. Right? Very true. And your hunger levels are still high. So you can way outpace your metabolism. You can put on 15, 20 pounds in just a matter of a month. And your metabolism is still going like this. So ideally, you want to kind of chase each other. So you're putting on maybe a pound a month. And once your metabolism tops out, you've only put four or five pounds on. And it's a crucial four or five pounds. Your libido comes back. Your metabolism comes back. Your strength comes back. Libido! Yeah, I'm sure you have plenty of libido right now, right? <laughs> At least compared, right? Oh my god, it makes sense! <laughs> it makes sense! So, I mean, you're not, you haven't destroyed everything. I mean, you're looking thick. I'm sure your, your weight's coming up in the gym, too, what you're lifting. But ideally, folks, tortoise beats the hair every time. Very true. Because the guy who's got to lose 50 pounds to get in shape is not losing just 50 pounds of fat. The guy who's got to lose 15, he's in, it's quick, it's dirty, he keeps all his muscle, and it's Compete on a on a yearly or every year basis instead of having to do six month long diets. Luckily, Matt loses three pounds a week of fat, like like it's nobody's business. So <laughs> but that won't last forever. In 2025, things will change. Shit. Uh, so when, when do you think I should start dieting for um, the NGA, which is June? June? Yeah. For you, I would say let's. I'm, I'm, I'll do anything. Day after Christmas. <laughs> yeah, I'll do it. I was actually, I had it in my mind, I was thinking like uh, New Year's or something like that. Are you, yeah, okay. Do you want to enjoy New Year's? Day after New Year's. Day after New Year's, guys. That'll give you, what, 20-something 20, 20 weeks? 21? It gives, it gives you a lot January, February, March, April, May, and then a couple weeks in June. So 21 to 22 weeks, I think that'll be good for you because you lose fat like a champ. Let's do it. And that doesn't mean, okay, let's get as fat as possible until oh, I know. New Year's, okay? Very yeah. true. I want you not starting any more than 30 over. Okay. Alright guys, that's the plan. So there, coach. Cake waffle. <laughs>